In this lecture, I am going to tell you how we can create custom validator for Angular template driven form. I am going to create a custom validator to validate image URL and we can create this with the help of Angular custom directive. So first of all, let's create a custom directive in our project. So let's open a new terminal and in Angular, we can create a custom directive with this command ngg for generate and then directive and then our directive name. I am going to create the directive under shared and then under directives and then under custom hyphen validators folder and the directive name here will be validate image url hit enter this will create a new directive under app shared directives and under a new folder called custom validators so here is the ts file for the directive and this will also update our app module if i open our app module you see this validate image url directive plus imported here and this will also be inside the declaration array of our module close this file and let's go to the validate image url directive ts file here we have the selector for this directive now i'll simply provide validate image url here for the selector and our angular does not know that this directive will act as a validator so we need to register this class inside the providers metadata of our angular project with a special injection token called ng validator so let's add providers array here and then let's add one object inside this array with provide and then we need to add the ng underscore validators injection token and then we need to provide the class name here so i'm going to use this class as a validator so let's provide this class here and then we'll provide multi two here because there might be some other validators also and then we need to implement validators so let's implement validators and then we need to add validate method inside this class so let's add validate method and we'll get the input form control here and i'll store to a variable called control and this will be type of form control and we'll get the input form field value from this controls and i will store to a new variable called url and this will be type of string and we will get the input field value from this control dot value and i will use to string method to type cast the value to string okay and from this validate method if i return null that means our validation is passing and if i return an object that means our validation is failing okay so for now what i will do i will add one condition here if this url is blank okay then i will return null okay that means we are not going to check any condition and if the url is not blank then i will check the condition inside this else block so what condition i am going to check i am going to check that is this string is valid image url or not and we can check it with the help of string.match method so i already prepared some regex for checking image url so let's copy this and paste it here i am going to use this regex to check and string is a image url or not okay and i will store the status to a variable call let's store it to a new variable called valid image url and we can check it with the help of url dot match method and we need to provide the regex here okay and if this is not is equal to null that means string is a valid image url okay and if the string is a valid image url then will return null from here else what will return will return an object with key invalid image url this will be true okay now it's time to okay we are getting some error okay we need to remove this semicolon from here now it's time to use this directive to the input field right so let's copy the selector and we have this input field inside our post create form 
so let's open post create form component.html file and we are going to use the custom validator to this input field ok save this file and try to refresh the page and try to enter invalid url you see we are getting this message now let's provide http dot com slash abc dot png you see the validation message is removed right so first of all we need to uh, display separate message for separate validation rules right what we did for the title field in the last lecture we displayed separate message for separate validation rules so so right now what is happening so right now you see this message message is displaying whenever our input field will be invalid right so whenever we are putting wrong image url or whenever we are removing the values from the input field we are getting that image url is invalid right that's why we are getting the error messages and we are displaying these error messages for both rules right so we need to display separate validation messages for separate rules so what we need to do we need to check the rules so let's copy it and then paste that code inside this block okay and we need to provide the form control and this time the form control here will be image url and we need to check the required rules and then for the uh, required rules what we will provide we will provide this validation error messages and for these rules so let's check the rules invalid image url for these rules we will provide different error messages so now the error message here will be please enter valid image url ok now let's check it so let's provide invalid image url you see we are getting please enter valid image url let's remove the value from here you see we are getting please enter post image url the error message is different now right ok but if we enter this url you see still we are getting this error messages that means if we provide dot png or any other extension at the end we are getting the uh, validation success right but if we provide this type of link then we are getting this error messages because our uh, I mean our regex is failing here ok so I will check another regex for the image url so I will check is the string is a valid url or not to check the string is a valid url or not we can use another regex so i will copy this regex to check a string is a valid url or not you can use this regex or you will find some other regex from the google you can use that regex also i am using this regex you can check this i am using this regex to check a string is a valid url or not you can use it or you can find other regex to check testing is a valid url or not and i will store the status to a new variable called valid url and this will be url dot match and we need to provide the regex inside this match method and this will return to if this is not is equal to null ok so if a string is not a valid image url or not a valid url then only we will return this message so if the string is a valid image url or the string is a valid url then we will return null that means our input field is passing the validation rules right and if the input field is not passing the validation rules then we will return this object that means our input field is not passing the validation rules so we need to display the error messages ok so now if I refresh the url and let's provide this url you see we are not getting any error messages right if I remove this 
will get the validation error messages and if we remove this slash slash here you see we are getting no error messages and if we remove this dot com at the last you see we are getting the error messages so our custom highlighter is working fine okay so in the next lecture i'm going to set up fake rest api server for our angular project with the help of json server library so stay connected